Today we're going to look at the Hapla 3D system, which is a system using Hapla semi-compressed 10 mm felt to offload an area on this foot. Ordinarily there would be an ulcer here, but we're um, indicating where there might be an ulcer here with this cross. But over the second metatarsal head here, we're going to use this felt to create a rapid offloading system. So the first thing that we do is take some felt, take some 10 mm felt, and cut out the three pieces that comprise this 3D system. So the first piece will be effectively a valgus pad. Then <clears throat> the second piece will be a planter slab in which there will be an aperture which will offload or go some way to offloading the ulcerative site. And the final piece will be a planter cover with an aperture as well sited over the first aperture on the planter slab to give <coughs> absolute offloading to the area underfoot. So, first of all, <coughs> making sure the foot is clean and the skin is nice and dry, we're going to cut the valgus filler. This will fill this area over the medial longitudinal arch. It will sit just proximal to the first, second and third metatarsal heads. It won't cover the fourth and fifth metatarsals and it will exit at around about the area of the spring ligament. So if we cut that first, Okay, so this sits in here. Now, what we do now is cut a 45 degree bevel around the edge of the valgus filler. This makes it sit flush with the skin. Once we cut the 45 degree beveling, then we will add to this a pie crust bevel. And this will further make it sit nice and flush with the skin. When we're pie crusting, we push up the felt underneath the felt we're going to cut, and that gives a nice long bevel. Okay, the pad's ready to apply now. So I'll peel off the paper back. And sight within the arch area there of the foot. Okay, now to hold this in place and stop it from moving, so to reduce friction on the skin, we apply Kyrofix retentive strapping, which we will overlie over those to stick it down. Okay, we round off the edges of the retentive strapping so it doesn't catch on hosiery. The strapping itself will go over the pad and slightly up the lateral side and slightly up the medial side, but not encroach too far onto the dorsum of the foot at all. Into this tape, we also cut a slight curve, which helps it round the corners of the pad. By adding the valgus filler, you're also increasing the weight-bearing surface of the foot, i.e. in the arch area. And this then further offloads the forefoot too. That's the valgus filler portion of the 3D system. Now we're going to cut the planter slab. This has to end slightly proximal to the toe webbing, follow the lines of the lateral and medial borders of the foot, but end just where the heel fat pad really takes shape over the heel, because we don't want to put any of this felt over the heel. We do this because we're trying not to create, so whilst offloading the area, we're trying not to create a limb length difference. So we leave that heel portion out of the, uh, out of the padding reach. Now, on this, we create a 45 degree bevel around all the sides, and then we're going to pie crust it like we did with the valgus filler, right around the side. Now we've pie crusted, pie crust beveled around the planter slab, we can now place this close and find out roughly where we need to site the aperture here. We progress the scissors through and cut out our aperture slightly larger than the alternative site. As we cut round the aperture, we're trying to leave a 45 degree bevel around the outside of the aperture, but also we're going to under bevel slightly the aperture so that we don't create a ring of pressure around the ulceration site as well. Sight it over the ulcer. 
down. This too will be secured with retentive strapping. Again, curve the ends. That's our planter slab. And then the final piece we're going to put on is a planter cover, which will cover then over the distal area here, down the sides, but it will end approximately the levels of the tuber in the navicular and the stylo process. And that will give a further layer, a further offloading layer to our 3D system. So if we cut that out. In this, we will also place the aperture in the same area that the previous aperture was in. But first, we're going to cut our beveling all around again, starting with a 45 degree bevel, and then finishing with a pie crust. Our aperture, again, is sighted, so it will overlie the previous pad's aperture. We cut round with a similar exposure. Peel off the paper back. And stick down. This too will be held down with retentive strapping, but before we do that, we're just going to ensure that the aperture remains wide and open and we do this by using some small strips of retentive strapping that just literally we cut out and these will be placed around the aperture to make sure that the felt fibers don't touch the wound surface. Now with the aperture hold open, we can now apply the retentive strapping, which will secure this final planter cover against the planter slab and reduce its movement as well on the planter slab. And there we have a rapid system that allows us then access to the wound to visualize the wound and will completely offload that overloaded area.